a threw a drop shot all the way around that point where I caught that first one, and uh, didn't have any other bites. But it, I'm sure there's more fish there. And the whole time when I was fishing or when I was throwing this drop shot, I was thinking, you know, other baits that that I might be able to catch them on right there. And instead of you know, instead of uh, trying it today, I'm kind of, you know, after catching that one, it tells me that there's fish there. So instead of, you know, digging through there and, and trying to catch them on another bait, I have a lot of confidence there's fish there. So, I mean, in the tournament, I'm going to fish there. I'm planning on fishing there. And, uh, you know, some other baits that I'm going to try is a, is a bigger swim bait, maybe a rattle trap, and for sure a jerk bait. But there's no sense in me, if I know that there's fish there, beating them up today. In other words, I want those fish as fresh as possible so I don't you know after getting one bite there I don't need to have you know 15 bites to come back and fish there just because the time of year there's gonna be more fish there that are coming into it than leaving it um, it's a perfect staging area you know we got this main river channel right here it's got a big flat I mean it's just everything's right for it you know so if we have some wind and some overcast the fish might be more active and, and you might not have to catch them on a drop shot or something but I pulled over here and what we got here is an underwater point it shows up on the uh, on the Navionics chip, and um, it basically comes out here. Same type of situation. It's just a little smaller point. I'm just gonna see if I can't get a bite right here real quick, and and then kind of you know plan on fishing this area. Everything's right for it, you know, as far as a tournament goes. Just because the fish are coming, and you know there's every day there's new fish coming into these areas. So you know the the amount of big ones that live in this lake. It's just a matter of time before you catch a couple of giants around these type of areas. So, you know, I'm, I'm pleased about this. It's got the right water clarity. You know, the water temp is uh, 56 degrees in here. The main lake was like 53. So, you know, the fish are going to be a little wanting, wanting to get shallow and wanting to spawn. So everything's right in here. So I plan on fishing this quite a bit in the tournament, actually. God. Damn. <laughs> Yeah, I came down this little stretch and I had two bites, um, you know, on a swim bait. And, you know, most guys, when they're coming through a spot like this and they see that right there, there's a little mat kind of on this little, this little uh, type of a ledge, you know, it's, it's like the bank's right there. It's, my boat's an eight and a half, nine foot. Odds are that there's probably a fish around there. Now, in a tournament, there'd be no doubt in my mind I would flip that. I mean, I don't know if there's a fish there or not. But why, why even bother, you know, attempting to even catch that fish today? It's not going to do me any good. You know, if I'm, if I'm planning on fishing this area, I'm going to fish that anyway. So why, why fish it in practice and, and maybe catch or accidentally hook that fish? And it could be a big one that might win you the tournament. So, you know, pre-fishing is, is, you can look at it two ways. You know, yeah, you want to get confidence in a bait, but at the same time, you know, if you're planning on fishing an area, you don't need to fish every possible bait and every possible technique in the area. If you're confident in an area, kind of experiment throughout the tournament day, because there are fish in here. I mean, I've had several bites now in this whole area. So obviously, you know, the fish are biting in here. So I'm, I'm gonna kind of leave it alone. I'm gonna fish up here to this point and then I'm gonna get out and just plan on, you know, fishing it maybe once, maybe twice throughout the day. I mean, this is a, this is a spot so far today with the most bites, but we've only fished a small area of this lake. So this might not even make it into the rotation if we go somewhere else and catch a bunch of big ones or have some really good bites. So you never know, just keep an open mind, but there's no need to, to fish this kind of stuff today, in my mind. If I was out here for fun, you bet I'd be flipping that right now. But you know, since I have a tournament, I'm laying, it off, laying off of it, even though it's very difficult for me because I want to flip that right now, but I'll save it. So let's we'll keep on working up here to this point and then we'll get out of here. Oh, there's a big one. There's a big one. Golly, swim bait. I didn't even mean to set the hook. It was kind of instinct. That's a good fish. It's a nice tournament fish, at least. I thought it was a lot bigger the way it was fighting, but swim bait again. We got to leave this area alone. I just had one on the cast before swirl on this bait right below, right next to the boat. And I threw back out being stupid, trying not to catch fish, and I instinctively said I thought it was a giant, but nice fat pre-spawn fish. So we're gonna get out of here. I'm, if I stay in here too much longer, it might cost me the tournament, so time to leave. That's a nice fish. All right, well, we left that spot. 
where we were at a little earlier and uh, came around the other side of the lake and it's another main body spot. Basically it's a big, uh, it's a big point that comes out but it has a lot of nice little flats and stuff where the fish will get up on and spawn. Um, the water is a little more stained in here. What the heck is Marty Stone doing in California? Dude, this isn't the Delta. <laughs> Can't be there yet. I'm lost. I'm 45 hours from home and this is the place you sent me to. Is there a bass in this hole? There's a few. Caught a few already this morning. Maybe you could help me do some pre-fishing today.